I think most entrepreneurs overcomplicate business. I think we, we try to compare ourselves to others. We want what other people have. And we forget that we're made by a divine creator to go on our path, to go on our time frame. And our path may look different from the path of others that we want to emulate or be like. And that's okay. So my name is Brandon Simmons. I'm a real estate coach, entrepreneur. I help business owners get more customers through attraction marketing and through the gut sales method. And it's a very simple process. When it comes to business, I think that I have found three secret weapons and I cannot say that I found these on my own. I have found them from my mentors and my coaches and I still invest in mentorship and masterminds and coaching today. So I want to share with you the three things that I found to help me have success in my business. And it's really simple and it's not overcomplicated. Number one, and this is something I found out whenever I got into ruts. I, I have a background of being in different sales positions. And in sales, if you don't make the sale, you don't eat. You're 100% commission. You may be lucky and have a commission job where you know you have a base salary and the commission, but usually the base salary is just so you don't starve, but you really got to make commissions to, to live on. So the one thing I found out, and it almost seems counterintuitive, is whenever I get stuck in a rut, I go for gratitude. I actually carry a gratitude rock in my pocket a lot of times. And all that is, it's a smooth rock that I found from a creek. And I used to write gratitude and thankful and thankfulness on it with, you know, those like pen markers and Sharpies and stuff like that. Now it's all rubbed off and I just throw it in my pocket with my change. And every time I touch that rock, it reminds me to think of something I'm grateful for. It's very simple process. It's, it's one of the simplest processes that they use in most religions and prayer, but they use in meditations is to help you put yourself into a different state instead of a, a needy state or a wanting state of me, 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 me. It's about trying to figure out what you are grateful for. And you realize that it's some of the things that are happening in your life are happening for you and not to you. And I realize that, in my opinion, there's a divine creator that helps us on our path. And I want to recognize that through gratitude. So gratitude is key number one. Whenever you're stuck in a rut, go for gratitude. Try to do acts of service. Try to think altruism. Think altruistically, meaning like you want to have altruism. You want to think of the welfare of others before your own a lot of times. Not to say that we don't need to eat, we don't need to get paid. You know, we're in a capitalist society, we need to make money to live. But the idea of being able to be altruistic, be able to give to others without the expectation of something happening in return. There's times where I know that I'm not going to do business with somebody, but I still am listening to them. I'm still thinking about how I can help them. And then I go out and I try to figure out a way to solve their problem or to help them. Even if it doesn't mean doing business with me, it means I'm being a good human being. And I know that there's good karma from that. And that the more people I serve and help, the more doors that open, the more windows open, the more opportunities open. And that's what I am looking for. And it does happen over and over and over. Whenever you get stuck in a rut, go for gratitude. That's number one. Number two is I think we have some goals that are really outrageous. We think that we should be the next so-and-so. We should be the next social media influencer. We should be the next person on you know, the Kardashians or some other celebrity, whoever you want to say, right? That you need to be as fit as them, that you need to be as rich as them, that, that you need to have as many toys and stuff as them. And that, that kind of goes back to the gratitude. But what I realized is whenever you write out your plan and you focus on the things you're grateful for, and then you focus on goals that you can achieve, it actually is a very simpler process. You got to make $1 before you make 10. You got to make $10 before you make 100. You got to make $100 before you make 1,000. So I like, to, I like to identify my goals and to set them up into bite size, edible possibilities. And so when it comes to my business, I follow the rule of five. And I got this from Claude Diamond. So the rule of five is this. 
talk to five new people a day. That's pretty simple, right? Post on five social media platforms or post five different times. You can post in Facebook groups. You can make posts on your own social media. But the idea is to put out into the world five social media posts. And typically, you want to do something of value. You want to give something away to attract potential clients to you. Okay, so that's part of the social media. Then you talk to five new people a day. You make five offers a day. Okay, you follow up with five people. Okay, and that could be that could be email, that could be text, that could be video, that could be voice messages. Okay, and also you send out five follow up for conversation. So you're going to have on the rule of five, right? There's five social media posts. It's talk to five new people a day, follow up with five new people, leave five voice messages or follow five follow up messages, right? And five offers. So that's the rule of five. So gratitude, the rule of five are two of the most important things in my opinion. Now for the third thing, this is going to be the fun one thing. This is going to be the fun one thing. This is now, the third superpower or thing that I think that really helps, and honestly, there's really, you know, I say there's three, there's probably more than three, and there's probably things that you do that are different than I do, and that's okay. But the third thing I think is having a morning routine, something like that you can do that kind of gets you in the right frame of mind for the day. I like to practice gratitude. I like to pray. I like to go for a walk. So some of my morning routine is basically simple. It's it's basically meditation and prayer. And I focus on things I'm grateful for. Typically, I'll throw on some music, some like music, like worship type music, something that kind of gets me in a good mood. Maybe I'll even read some Bible or some scripture or some devotional for a little bit. I'll pray and then I'll meditate as well. And by the way, I can do this while I'm walking. I can do this while I'm in the car. I can do this in my bed. But a lot of it depends on what you want to do. So typically what I do, I kind of get up. I kind of go for a walk. I listen to some audio stuff. I'm praying. I'm think, thinking about the things I'm grateful for, visualizing that, and then focusing on the things I want to accomplish for the day. Tony Robbins talks about priming. Right? You need to be able to prime yourself. And if you don't have 15 minutes, you don't have a life. And so a lot of what he does is, you know, priming and, and getting in state. Right. And so that's really what you're trying to do with your morning routine. Try and get in state, trying to get in a position where you're ready to move forward for the day. You're visualizing your goals. You're taking action on those goals. And I think it all gets set up with the morning routine. And some people prefer the morning routine at night. They do it the night before. They do it in the middle of the day. That's up to you. It doesn't matter. But I think you need to spend some time with yourself, with God, thinking about things you're grateful for, focusing on the things you want to accomplish, the goals you're striving to achieve, and then going forth in the day with that little supercharge ready to take on the day. So those are the three things that I think are super important in life and in business. Hope you found this helpful. If there's anything I can ever do for you, please reach out to me. You can find me at brandontheman.com. You can text or text me or call me at 480-818-6460. Yes, I actually answer my own phone if I'm able to. Oh, I just send me a text. And love to hear from you. Feel free to go to my website and schedule a free call with me. It's brandontheman.com. Talk to you all later. Thanks for listening to this audio.